I think there's a lot of reason, though, to be optimistic. I mean, none of us have crystal balls, and a lot of what happens is going to depend on the decisions that individuals make who are in positions to make good or bad decisions. And a lot of it is going to now depend on whether the people in the military are going to realize that they really need to accommodate to the legitimate, as they keep calling it, the legitimate aspirations of the Egyptian people. Uh, the military in Egypt has been the most powerful institution in the country by far. There's a million and a half people that are in the Egyptian military. They're a huge percentage of the budget. They control all sorts of industries in the country. Um, they've, and they've basically been running the country. And so they're going to have to realize if this is going to go smoothly that the days when they have absolute power are over and they're going to have to open up and they're going to have to share power. They've handled themselves well from a public relations point of view throughout this and that they still have a lot of legitimacy with the Egyptian people. They've managed to um, uh, create uh, the impression that, you know, Mubarak regime, the Mubarak regime was separate from themselves. And so they have a certain amount of political capital going into this. But what they need to do is to share power. There needs to be a broad-based uh, government of national unity 